Invincible Star. It's easy to forget that she's only had seven starts, the most recent of those last Saturday at Randwick. A slow getaway proved the difference between winning and running second. The four-year-old mare pinned her ears back to chase down Ball of Muscle, only to just miss. She would not go down without a fight, but we knew that already. We learnt something else about Invincible Star in that race, though. She isn't one-dimensional. In what is shaping up to be a high pressure the Tab Everest, it could be a moment that proves significant come October 13. Now let's go back to the start. Invincible Star was up and running as a two-year-old, blazing her way down the Flemington Strait to win on debut. She missed the autumn, having had bone chips removed. The patience of trainers Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott was rewarded when Invincible Star turned three, and after a pipe opener at Mooney Valley, she exploded to win a Group 3 at Caulfield. What triggered this sudden improvement? She was allowed to show her best weapon, her blistering cruising speed. That saw her start hard in the market for the Group 1 Coolmore Stud Stakes, and after looking like she had pinched it with a brilliant front-running display, Merchant Navy claimed her on the line. There was no denying that she was now every bit the star that her name suggested she was. The powerfully built daughter of I Am Invincible set tongues wagging after giving her rivals the slip in a Randwick barrier trial in mid-August. That piqued the interest of slot holders, and a deal was done. First up, in the Concord Stakes, Redzel showed no mercy in welcoming Invincible Star to the big league, but to her credit, she didn't throw in the towel and was only beaten a length. Time is certainly on the side of Invincible Star, and we haven't seen the best of her yet.